Welcome back to another home tour. This is Kai and today we are back at Sembawang Crescent again. Right, so today I'm going to be showing you a 4-room HDB unit at 1,001 square feet. So you can see over here, it's been drizzling the entire week. My hair is in a mess, so let's hurry up and go up to the unit. Let's go. Welcome to the unit. As mentioned just now, we are in a 4-room HDB flat at 1,001 square feet. So to my right side is going to be the bomb shelter. So one of the things that you will notice about this unit is that the owners have chosen a minimalist theme around the unit. So as you walk in the front door, you are greeted by this open space. So the owners have chosen this feature wall over here to enhance the overall aesthetic of the living space itself. So if I bring your attention here, the windows are actually facing southwest. So there won't be any west sun directly shining into the living room itself. Over here is going to be a three-seater sofa. So as you can see, there's more than enough space here for you to do an L-shaped sofa if you want to cater for more people. So currently this space is used by the kids as a small play area. But if you want to fully utilize the space, you can even put in a study table right over here. So that study table will be able to dub up as a studying area for your kids or even a work from home station for yourself. Sembawang Crescent is located in District 27. There are two bus stops heading to Sembawang MRT which is on the north-south line. Woodlands MRT station is also two stops away and it connects to the Thompson East Coast Line. At the doorstep of Sembawang Crescent is Canberra Park, offering a great space for kids to play. Just a quick walk away, residents can find all the daily necessity they need. Welcome to the kitchen area. So the first thing I want to show you is going to be the countertop, right? So this is actually made with compact plus. So if you know anything about compact plus, it's going to be really, really durable because it is heat resistant and also scratch resistant, right? So this thing over here is going to be soft closing. Right? So the owners have opt for soft closing because they have kids running around and they do not want their kids to be slamming and damaging the entire kitchen area. So the service yard is actually big enough for you to put a washer over here. And as you can see on my left side, there's also space for you to put a dryer as well. Right? Now that we are done here, let's move on to the dining area. Let's go. So the owners have chosen warm lighting in the dining area to make it feel more homey. So if I can bring your attention right over here, this is going to be an inbuilt ceiling fan. So there's minimal wastage in space in this unit because the corridor area here is really really small, right? So as we all know, corridor space is wasted space. There are three nearby schools, Sembawang Primary, Canberra Primary and Sembawang Secondary School. So this is actually a study area and also a resting area for the owners. So if you want, you can actually remove the study area to fit a sizable queen-size bed over here. Okay, so there is no inbuilt anywhere in this room, so you can renovate it in any way that you want. Welcome to the perfect playroom where there's a slide and a rock climbing wall. How cool is that? So if you do want to convert this room into a common room, you can actually replace this with a queen-size bed and leave ample space at the side for a wardrobe as well. So the master bedroom is a nice and squarish layout. So the owners have opt for an inbuilt closet right over there. And if you look over here, there's a queen size bed and beside it is going to be a super single bed. So you can actually fit in a king size bed with ample room to spare. So we have come to the end of the home tour video. So if you would like a rock climbing wall in your unit, please feel free to contact me for a viewing. Don't forget to like and also to subscribe if you have liked what you have seen in my channel so far. My name is Kai from Estate Kai and I will see you next time.